Hi, my name is Mike, and what I would like to do uh, this evening is to uh, go over uh, one of the most important aspects of guitar care. Uh, you've uh, you've bought your guitar, whether you've uh, put a lot a lot from your budget into it, spent a lot, spent little. It doesn't matter. You still want to take care of your guitar. And one of the most important things that you can do in taking care of your guitar is to promote properly humidify it. Uh, I never knew you had to humidify a guitar. And when I grew up, my dad had two guitars. He didn't even have cases for them. They just sat out and that's, you know, I learned to play the guitar on those and never knew anything, but that was in Tennessee. A lot of humidity in Tennessee, so it probably didn't really hurt the guitars. Well, right now I'm living in um, the high desert area of Northern California, and so humidity is very low. And so it's very important to humidify your guitar. In some places, again, like uh, uh, in the south, humidity is very high, and so you actually may have to do something to dehumidify. But that's a, uh, I'll let somebody else talk about that. But I've learned a couple of things about hum humidifying a guitar, and especially for those of you who are new to guitar playing, uh, you're trying to learn about uh, different ways taking care of your your guitar, your baby. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today, uh, hopefully briefly, is to go, go over that. Okay, one of the first things, a very important aspect of taking your guitar is what you uh, store your guitar in, what you carry it around in, uh, what kind of case. Uh, I recommend a hard shell case because uh, it creates a better, uh, a better seal uh, for the humidity that you are trying to uh, maintain. Uh, with your guitar. It also obviously hard shell helps protect uh, your guitar more from the little bumps and bruises that could come its way. Uh, there are uh, some guitar bags that are uh, that I've seen uh, really padded. Uh, I would imagine that they will do a decent job but they're not going to do as good a job as a hard shell case. But if you're uh, you know, gigging somewhere or you're you're traveling, you don't want to lug around a heavy guitar case and a and a real then get a real good thick uh, uh, guitar bag uh, to to place your guitar in because that'll help protect it as well. Gig bags are okay for temporarily uh, lightweight and all that, but uh, that's still, I still I still go go for the hard shell case uh, personally. Okay, so you have your hard shell case. And then there's two ways that, that, that I, two ways that I put the humidity for the guitar itself, and it actually helps with the case as well. But um, one of them, now I'm going to be demonstrating this on a uh, Taylor, I have a Taylor DN3 solid wood, but whether you have laminate or not, doesn't matter. Uh, what I've done is in the sound hole, in the sound hole I have. Uh, what's called a damp it. There's different styles and so forth, but it's a sound hole humidifier. Now, when you buy these, uh, most of the ones that I've seen come with a, a sound hole cover. So you can put this down inside, you've got the cover, it keeps the humidity within the body of the guitar. Uh, I've been told that that's probably not the best thing because you want humidity, the humidity going not only in the body of the guitar, but throughout, up the neck, up to the headstock, and so forth. And so, um, I don't use my sound hole cover. I just take the damp it, it's got the clip there, uh, clip it on to my low E string, and uh, I've thought about um, getting another one since there's a lot of times, uh, most of the year, humidity is low around where I live. And, getting another one and putting it in there. And so, so that's, uh, that's for your sound hole there. And it, like I said, it just, it just slips right in there and uh, kind of hangs if you put it in upright like that. And then up on the headstock, now this shouldn't be necessary uh, because your humidifier here should be going throughout the, the body uh, or your whole case. But a good case is going to be padded pretty well too and so on you know I'm just not sure how much space is you know the humidity has to go up there so what I have here is a uh, just a real basic planet waves uh, humidifier and uh, it's just got the little sponge the damp it has a long sponge going through that so it's just got a sponge 
And if you notice the sponge is dry and it's time to re uh, to redamp it, same with the other one. So I'll be doing that this evening. Uh, you want to make sure that your your sponges get dry so you don't uh, you don't overdo it. So I you know I'm checking them every day, and when they get when they get dry, I wet them again. The uh, important thing when you do uh, wet your sponges, make sure you wring them out. You know you don't have to you know put a death grip on them, but make sure you wring them out to where they're not dripping because you don't want water dripping into your guitar or laying. And I'll take, uh, again, this one, I'll take it and, uh, and I'll just, once I get the water in there, I kind of squeeze it down and then I'll even bend it. I'm doing this over my jug because I'm saving water, but uh, uh, distilled water is what I use anyway. And then get it, you know, squeeze it there and then I'll take it in, my, in a towel and uh, to get the uh, the outside nice and dry and then I stick it back in there. And uh, same with this, you just take it out and I uh, usually just get it a good good wet on the tip there and then I'll spread throughout and then I put that on there. And then this, what I'm planning on doing in order to hold it securely in there, I really don't have a problem with this thing, I was surprised, you know, flying all around there, apparently the headstock keeps it, you know, from doing that, but, uh, you know, it moves a little bit, but for the most part it stays there. I just put it down on the, on the flat side there, and uh, what I'm thinking about doing is getting some Velcro, and I uh, put one side there and one side uh, taper gluing it in my case there, and uh, to where it sits down there and it stays there and comes right out to where I can use it. Alright, so we got, we got the uh, headstock. Uh, humidifier. We got the the body humidifier right there. Another uh, important piece of equipment is something to uh, measure your humidity with, and this is a uh, caliber uh, three. It's made by Western Digital, and what it does is it gives you the current temperature and humidity. Now this is going to be reading. Right now it's reading for the most part since I have my case open. Uh, you know my house here. And uh, but it'll you know as soon as you open up your case, you can look at it and it'll show you what you know, your current time and uh, humidity is in your case there. Now what's kind of cool about this is it'll give you a uh, your 20 uh, your high you know your high humidity and temperature. You can clear that, and then it also gives you your minimum. You can clear that, and I check it every 24 hours. If I let it go two three days, it starts giving me some weird readings. So I try to check it about every 24 hours. Anyway, that's, I like this one because it's accurate, it has some good reviews, and uh, it'll do uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and it slips right down there. It fits just perfect in my case. And so I really like that. Uh, it wasn't made for a guitar case, it's a cigar box humidifier, or or hygrometer, it's called a hygrometer. But it measures your humidity. Okay, so we've talked about the damper for the hole, the planet waves, or something similar anyway. Uh, for the headstock, you got your, your meter so you can keep track of it uh, because your humidity in here is going to be different than the rest of your house. And then, uh, but what about the case? Do we have to worry about the case? Yes, we do. Because if the case dries out, then it's going to start sucking the humidity from your, from your guitar. And so, um, keeping your guitar properly humidified. You want to keep your case closed as much as possible. And so if you're doing, you know, if you're doing some street uh, playing and that kind of thing, trying to lay, raise a few bucks, uh, you know, put a can out there or something. You know, try not to leave your, ca your case open. Um, so you want to keep your case closed. And, and by the way, uh, they say the same thing about your guitar. Don't, don't leave it out too much. You know, especially in your drier areas where the humidity is pretty low. Uh, you want to keep it in your case when you're not when you're not playing it. And it sounds like a hassle, but uh, I haven't found it to be a uh, a problem at all myself. And I just lug out my case and open it up, get my guitar out, smell the nice wood smells, and uh, and play. Okay, so so what about the case? How do you humidify the case? Well, the case is going to get some of its humidity, obviously, from your your uh, your your damp it and your plant waves. But uh, sometimes it, if you want to beef up the humidity during the dry times, it's going to sound a little weird, but I actually take my case 
into uh, my bathroom when I go to take a shower, okay? Uh, I don't take it in the shower, obviously, and you want to keep it away from when you get out, you don't want to be splashing it, and so forth. And so, uh, I just open it up. I, it's not going to get drenched because I don't let that much humidity uh, gather and so forth. But, but it's one way to, <laughs> it's one way to get your case humidified. And so we don't want that drying out. Now again, the water, what kind of water? Uh, some people say it doesn't matter. Just use regular tap water. Others say, well, tap water can be very hard sometimes. And so um, stay away from it because it clogs the pores of the sponge. You know, the jury's out on whether or not that makes any, any or much difference. Uh, I, I guess, you know, if worse comes to worse, you use whatever you have. Because uh, you want to keep that humidified, you can always change the sponge uh, or even change the piece later. But uh, whatever the case, you know, keep it, keep some water. But, uh, you know, a gallon jug of uh, distilled water is what is recommended. Is, uh, you know, you can buy those for under a buck, and mine's lasted for over a year. So, because I usually take it out and I'll, you know, I'll uh, uh, squeeze off the excess and to back into the into the uh, bottle so I don't waste any. Uh, so again, uh, you want to make sure that you don't over dampen your sponges. You don't have to put a death grip, just you know, squeeze out the excess, dry off the outsides, make sure it's not getting on your guitar. And uh, that's about it. And I appreciate you joining me. Uh, again, there's other resources on the internet where you found this. And uh, also go to your guitar store and say, hey, this guy says this. Do I gotta do this? And they'll say, yes. Hope they do. Anyway, have a great day and keep on strumming.